tickle my knee. Why are you talking like Billy's grandma? Why you tickling my knee? No, Billy's grandma would be like, you have to love me. Yeah. <laughs> and then Billy would be like, no, I don't. No, oh. just aggressively be pressing the reverse camera. Why can't I take a picture? My grandmother like, did, uh... God. She, it was at Christmas time. She's like, Billy, don't you love me? And I, I gave a real hot, like, second before I'm like, I don't love anything anymore, Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead inside. That's a and great then, answer. Then she, she tells my mom that, like, I think something's wrong with Bill. It's like, no, you just don't know our sense of humor. Your yeah. mom's like, no shit. <laughs> and then she asked, and I told her, you know, what she asked me, and um, she's like, oh. Well, it's a good thing that you just didn't say no. That's so funny. Is that uh, your mom's mom or your dad's mom? That's my that's my mom's mom. Okay. She knows that I don't like her mom. Okay, fair enough. And um, yeah, so basically, you know, she's like, it was good that you lied to her <laughs> instead of <laughs> instead, instead of, of just, saying no. <laughs> instead of just saying no, I don't love you. Um, my mom's mom died 10 years ago and nice, she smelled nice. like cigarettes and played a lot when she of died. Auto, and she um made me go bra shopping with her one time not for me for her yeah all right. it i kind wild. of assumed that part it was wild huh. don't tell me what to do she used one of your chains on man oh yeah i can change you have to do it there you can't do it yeah i think i have to do it here Good to see you. let me check Oh, you think you can do it there? Yeah, you can do it wherever. Okay, so this is high impact, low, low attack speed, speed, medium, medium. That one's very low. That energy. Oh, gain. that one you get good energy gain on the other. Ooh, they got to sew up that couch. Look, no, up by Billy's arm. There's a hole, big hole. Oh yeah. That was me. <sighs> well, I was there when, it, when when we got here. No, I'm telling you. I'm gonna go with the uh, fibro cutter. Okay. Graham came in here. Because that's you know medium. Kind of like the in between. Yeah. Graham came in here with a dead body and ripped up the couch. <laughs> and ripped ass on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> is there another way to go out of the med bay thing? Or is that where you came from? That's initially. where I came from. Initially, that way. okay. The amount of joy that that old lady fart brought you, Melissa, was it was great. <laughs> Billy, there's been um, we've got this this working rumor going on at our apartment building. There's this lady named Brenda. Brenda. Who, um, Melissa knows all the details. I don't really know. She's got what an ex-husband. What are you talking about? I'm just talking about Brenda. Why are you talking about Brenda? Because I think it's interesting. Keep her name out of your mouth. I don't know her. I don't really know. I don't know her last name. I have no idea who this person is. The lady I worked with, Brenda, was her good friend. Well, was. The, lady, the lady I worked with um, was friends with Brenda's ex husband. But also Brenda by proxy while they were married. Okay. And then one day she just turns to her husband of like 30 years and she's like, hey, I met a guy who works at a resort in Mexico. In I want to see fuck. where that gets me. <laughs> Pretty so much. So we're done yeah, yeah. here. Okay. But also, you're going to pay for me to get an apartment. And you're also going to move all my shit there. And he's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wild. And that's, then now she's some got weird a commitment. husband because she married the guy in Mexico. Okay. But she's trying she to get him, him to Canada. Yes. She did marry him. Okay. Yes, she's trying to get him to Canada. Right, that's right, yes. But she's having yeah, like, a very hard time yeah. because on paper it looks like she just married a guy who she met while on vacation at a resort in Mexico, which is exactly what happened. But he also has children. That one I think I have to who go. he's trying to get to Canada. Right. 
<clears throat> but okay. the, but the recent thing lately, she's been having this female friend come over on weekends and like stay over okay. on the weekends. Every weekend, and she just honks her car horn and wakes us up. Yeah, she does and that. Every, yeah, she does that like every fucking like time she leaves. She like beeps her horn like when she leaves. But we think that it's a we just keep code. No, we keep thinking that like she's having an affair now on her other husband with a lady. Could be. We have no proof of this other than the fact that she's there all the fucking time. I mean, totally, totally a thing that could probably yeah. be happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So I, just, I don't know. It's just like. Oh, and then the couple next door to us love to fucking scream at each other. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty sweet. So yeah. last week, like they're like, an age gap love. Yeah, couple. they're an She's age. our age, and he's retired. Yeah. Oh. His name is Busman, and her name is, uh... Yell. What was her name? Yell. Yell? Old Yeller. I thought you found, or maybe found them on Facebook. Her name is Nicole. Nicole. Nicole and Busman. So Busman is a retired bus, bus driver. Busman's real name is Bob. Okay. No, his name is Busman. Okay. <laughs> bus, and, bus and Bob. Busman. No, but, like, um... I, when I'm in the studio, I can hear them screaming, like, through the, through the, the concrete, concrete wall. wall. And I Are guess... They, like, Singing that one song, "Scream Your Heart Out," you know from uh, Oh, Ross Prophets. No, yeah, no, they're not doing that. You can't hear them through the concrete, like we're like clarity. you can't. Yeah, you All can't you can hear like. <laughs> yeah, you can't make out what they're saying, but you can hear them screaming. Like I'm mixing music and I can hear them screaming, and it's like um, the other the the argument the other night, and they're and they argue like practically every night. Okay, like, it's it's. I take the trash to the she shoot takes, a lot. She takes the trash out. Because you can hear it in the know. hallway pretty good. Um, but like... You um, can't hear it in our apartment. No. Okay. Like it's not like something that's like intrusive or like annoying for us to hear. It's just you notice it. We just notice it happening, yeah. As soon as he notices it because he shares the wall in the studio. Yeah, and then I'll say, so, I'll message he her. Me, <laughs> and then I take the trash to the shoot. Yeah, I'm like the trash might need to go why on. they're angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the one so the, basically you're snooping. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm just oh, taking the trash always, out. We always like to snoop. It's not my fault if I'm taking the trash out and I happen to learn why they're yelling. Oh yeah, it's not and my that's, fault. Yeah, well, they need to. Happens. They need to yell quieter. Okay. All right. Continue. But, but the other but the other day I think last week they were having a conversation where she must like to smoke or something. She we don't know. Dope. We don't know what she, is it. I mean, I, we assume it's dope or like you know weed or something. But um. The they argument was like, you after. never let me smoke when I want to smoke because I'm no one's supposed to only do it on Tuesday or Thursday. They have a written agreement where I'm allowed to do it Tuesday and Thursday. They have a written agreement on when she can smoke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she was yelling because it was Wednesday it. and she wanted to smoke because that was when that snowstorm happened. I loved it. Okay, so she, she was trying to break the agreement, yeah. and then and then they and then like I swear they they've said it a couple of times. She's like, you know, I'm not going to go out anywhere. He's like, how do I know you're not going to go to him, or oh, something yeah, like that? That's yeah, a good one. yeah. Oh no, there's a him. There's and a him involved. One time yeah. he was out there in the hallway, and then he's like, you're out here throwing your pussy around in the hallway. Throwing your ass around. Oh, throwing your ass around in the hallway. Yeah, like all the other elderly people, he'd be like, mm, I tap that shit. Oh. She so she's our age. Yeah, she's got to be. Yeah, she's got to be younger. Like cause she's a what was it? She was like, trying to be a nurse. Facebook stopped her. She's our age. Oh yeah, but I don't. I don't know. I don't remember any of this stuff. Um, she uh, she was like trying to be like a nurse or something, wasn't she? No, she's a funeral director. Funeral director. That's right. I don't <laughs> know why I'm thinking she's a nurse. Like she she same is a same thing. She was probably at that nursing home today. Like dealing party. with dead people. She was the part. Yeah. She no. was the fart in the room. Okay, can I open this one now? Yes. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. You don't have any heels left, do you? No, I don't. Dangerous. I live life dangerously. That sound reminds me of Half Life. A little bit. Did you play Half Life, Alex? Did you tell me that you played that? Uh, no. Well, yes, I did. You played it. But I only bit, played a little bit. I'd like to play that game. I'm not fighting you guys. It's two of you and one of me, and there's no heels. I don't have VR. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> What's out here? 
I think this is going back to like the main, like the med bay or something. Hopefully. Or is this a new area? No, this is a new area. Okay. I'm just kind of letting you go. I'm not really like. This is to. This is the, there's yeah. the shortcut. There you go. Yeah. Fuck you, bitches. I unlocked the thing, so now I get to leave. Can you sprint in this? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> let's, let's go back to where that very painful surgery took place. <laughs> Make me keep coming back here too. Yeah. All right. So now I got. I can't. Okay. So I got viral injection or vital injection, medical audit, vital boost, sustaining array. Plasma, plasmic oh, regenerator. I see. Okay, I was trying to like kind of discern what the heck those mean. Okay. So you need twenty-five total core power capacity to yeah. get those other slots. Gotcha. 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 Okay. What about my? I wonder grid? if you can use your scraps for other shit. Maybe. Like I'm sure maybe at some point they will let you do that. I don't know. Can you do anything with the um, the armor shit that you got? That's what I'm looking at right well, now. You got leg left. Left leg gear. I don't know. What, does it need to be repaired first or something? What's in your inventory? Power core voucher. Griffer crab. I think those are. Yeah, those are audio things or something. Go to inventory. What's in inventory? Broken, broken parts. parts. That's it right there. Okay. Will automatically be salvaged at gear assembly. Oh, okay. So. So that's just stuff that can't be used. Because it's wrecked. Yeah. Okay. Consumables. Okay, so these are the souls. Yeah, you get tech scrap for those. Schematics. So now I can make these. Probably because, yeah, so when I cut off the leg, head, and body, and arm, I got schematics, so now I can make those. When I get to the thing, here's some So I wonder when you, do, when you scrap the broken parts, do you like get just scrap from it? Or do you get like, maybe like components to Yeah, maybe components. It? Take care. All right, I'm going to run through this. <laughs> Bitches. Got nothing on my penis. Now I'm going to hide in this Ooh. bush. Make sure they're not following me. Oh, they are full. Oh, shit. It's like prop hunt. Good game, prop hunt. I'm going down here to go fight those two guys. Yeah, remind me to buy that hunt game. I should look at that. Hunt <laughs> Showdown. Shunt. Yeah, no, yeah I've, no, I've seen it and I've heard. Um, I remember watching a review of it a while ago from this. Um, there's this YouTube channel called um, Skill Up, I think. I think I've heard of it. Yeah, he's an Australian guy. He does game reviews, like very long, detailed reviews most of the time. And I remember that was one of his favorite games. And it's just like, you know... I think when you find that game that's that engaging, like, you know, you really get, like, sucked into it quite a bit. And that's how I felt with, like, Monster Hunter World. And he, like, Monster Hunter World is, like, one of his favorite games, too. So it's kind of like, I think I would, enjoy, I would appreciate a game like Hunt, like, if you get into it with a group of friends and... Um, yeah, it, it's a hard game. Well, I'll say right off the bat. Yeah, because, it's, uh, it's fun, though, too, sometimes. It's because of the PvP aspect. Yeah, right. But playing on a PC, I could. But, but I... Turn on your gear lights, bro. Yeah, I'm trying, but apparently I need to... Down on D-pad doesn't work? Yeah, apparently, so... Equip body gear to use gear lights. Oh. I don't have any body gear. Huh. Guess I'm going in the dark. Maybe you get some from one no. of these dudes. Ah. <laughs> oh. Owie. That thing hurt. That guy has... Okay, body. Yeah, but he doesn't have any gear on his body. Just, I don't understand. I don't want to fight this thing. Can I fight this thing? Maybe maybe you should go and try and find the light somewhere else. Probably. Unless that guy has it or something. I have a feeling it's probably uh, somewhere else. Yeah, I think so too. This is probably a come back here place. Yeah, I would think so. Maybe go somewhere else. 
I'm guessing I'm about to go and hit the uh, the assembly place. Yeah. Based off my gamer intuition. I don't know like what the map is. I I was kind of letting you go and do everything, so I don't know where like what the layout is or like where else you can go. I'm just letting you do your thing. Right now, it's pretty like standard. Like yeah. you're you're just kind of going right now. Yeah. Right. I mean, like, you know how, like, when you go into an area and, you know, like, here's a place I can go, here's a place I can go, here's a place I can go. Like, I haven't been paying attention in that respect. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. Can I interact with that? Yes. Oh, shit! Oh, it's it's just back the, here again. that was there. Seems like the enemies in this are kind of spongy. Yeah, I mean, they like, are. Uh, like normally, I feel like earlier on in the game, like the enemies it should be a couple that, of hits at most. Yeah, typically aren't that spongy. I think that's cool. The finishers those are kind of neat. Yeah, just a little like um, a little flourishy, a little Skyrim mask. Is that uh, is that poison there? Probably. It's something that you know. It's like a miasma, and I don't feel like dealing with it. A reinforced pipe. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's burning. Yeah, yep. it burns. My asshole burns. Burns on you. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah, you, know, you know what it is. You know what's up. <laughs> Some of the... Um, old NSP videos came up for me a little while ago on YouTube. Well, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Yes. Hello. Is that Truckosaurus? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> it looks like it. What the hell is that? I don't know. I'm just going to kind of stay away from it. It's like, it like a big robot thing. Right here. Yeah. Mom, don't look at her. It's like a big smoke you can stack. look at it. You see it? Maybe it's that Malaysian airline plane. Yeah, it could be. This looks like it's gonna. Oh, it's that's like a big fucking... microscope. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I need to leave. And you're dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I had no more heals. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Obama. <laughs> Guess I'll just run there, grab my shit, and leave. I'm gonna pick up my toys and leave. Yeah, that's funny that they got a time limit on this one in this game. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Especially when everything's so spongy. I know, right? Like that's that's the weird thing. Is like the it feels like the enemies take way too much, too many hits this early on in the game. Not, not that, like, you know, you being weak is a problem. It's just, like, the fact that there's, you know... Usually the enemies are weak also. Yeah. Is he, like, shooting out, like, a fog? My, he's shooting out his own miasma. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Let's see, he's, he's like, a, like a frog bulldozer, man. I'm just gonna... Just gonna yeah, I would leave. leave. Yeah. Looks like you can go this way. Yeah, whatever's over here. Yeah, I'm guessing that's like an early kind of boss thingy, like how Dark Souls likes to do it. Yeah. Whoa, bud. Chill it out. I like all the enemies just burst into flames too when they die. <laughs> I don't know, I like that. Maybe you should try a different weapon. Like maybe a different weapon will, will do it. Yeah, I mean try out try out that heavier weapon. See what that's like. Maybe that's like a two hander or something. Wrong button. Can they can you I don't even know if you can do two hands on this. There's the reinforced pipe. Reinforced piston. Um, then there's that, and then there's the fucking uh, sir, specter, specter, the specter bite. bite. So this is a heavy damage 
but slow attack. Yeah. You gotta test it out on that little robot. Yeah. Yeah. That still doesn't do that much. <laughs> and I died. Yeah. I fell over and I hurt myself in my confusion. It still doesn't, like, doesn't do that much damage. <laughs> Let me try against like a smaller enemy. Yeah. I'll go and test it out on this big new bitch. Then I'll go and grab my shit. There you go. That's better. Oh my. That, that was, was a good. quick fight. That was good. Can you equip more than one weapon or no? God damn it. Nope. Just the one. Oh, okay. It's just the one killer, actually. <laughs> Ow. What's the matter? Brainwave. That he uses Cornello. Get us back to the station. Yeah, that he uses. Oh, my brain. Oh. All of my limbs are broken. If all of my limbs are just my leg. Come here, me, brah. What up, brah? Ads, dude. Add this to my oh my god. <laughs> Iframes, baby. <laughs> Real quick. Add this to my collection. Your death. You know what game um, I also played recently because I hadn't played it before and it was on sale for five dollars was uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Good game. Eh. The first game was terrible. In my opinion. And the second game was mildly less terrible. <laughs> I thought you were meaning the ones from PlayStation 2. Oh, the PlayStation 2 ones are great. Yeah, I'm that's what I was the, talking about. I'm talking about. about the newer ones. Yeah, well, when you said Battlefront 2, I'm like, oh, yeah, great game. No, the first, yeah, like the, the PlayStation 2 era ones were, were awesome. Fantastic. But I know I played Star Wars Battlefront 2 um, the PlayStation 4. Okay, yeah, not great games. It's like... Number two is like way better than number one simply because it has like actual game modes and stuff. Oh, but like it's it's still not a great game, I don't think. So I, I deleted it on, off of my PlayStation 5 to make room for the games that we were playing today. Because I'm like... Completely understand. Yeah, I'm not going to play it. Like I was playing the campaign and I finished the main campaign, but then there's like a post-campaign campaign to do. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Oh, I'll get you. Hold on. I think I'm just done with Star Wars also. <laughs> yeah. I watched those new movies. I didn't like them. I'm going to say it. I didn't either. You know, you know I'm going to say it, guys. Those it's were not those very things, good movies. It's one of those things where it's like you had rose-colored glasses on it for the first little bit. Yeah. And then you're like, the more you think about it, you're like, never mind. Yeah. Like, the first one was probably the best out of the three. Yeah, because it, it was really the most... wasn't the great. Yeah, because it was the most like a Star Wars movie. <laughs> yeah. And it's still hmm, not very good. It's not very imaginative. It's no. very... Uh, it was actually very samey. Yeah. Felt yeah. like it was kind of retelling the story just poorly. Yeah. And then the second one was god-awful. And then the third one, oh my god. <laughs> I remember I remember when we walked out of the theater out of The Last Jedi. You were like, I liked it. And I'm like, I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I, I watched The Last Jedi, and I'm like, you know what, that wasn't so bad. Like, I was expecting a lot worse, and then I really thought about it, and I'm like... Huh. Never mind. Yeah, never mind, I wasn't very good. I'm pretty sure Melissa was there. Yeah, she was there for that. Yeah. And we, I remember leaning over to her mid-movie, I'm like, I don't... I, is it just me, or is this movie kind of not good? What are you talking about? The Last Jedi. I don't remember that movie. Oh, it's not worth remembering. Yeah, it's not. Which one is that? That's is that the, the one, one that the um Palpatine. The robot that rolls around. Yeah, I mean technically, oh, yeah, it's in it. Cats? It's in it, but no, it's the, the one. With, cats? That's yeah, with the porgs. Yeah. Yeah, that was that one. Yeah. That was the one where 
They go to the casino planet for no reason. Yeah. That one was the absolute worst one. And then they go to... um, Laura, and then Laura Dern has the plan, but she doesn't tell anybody the plan. Yeah, that one was the worst one. <sighs> you bitches. Fucking bitches. You're gonna die right here. But at least you're be able to get your shit easier. That's not how the bonfires work. Come on, guys. Yeah, I'm supposed to be able to just go to the bonfire and as mid-swing and they're supposed to disappear. Yeah, uh-huh. Alright, I lived. And then Rise of Skywalker was such a fucking mess. Yeah. Holy shit. Horrible. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. I mean, I obviously they were just trying to salvage the mess that The Last Jedi made, but like, good lord. <laughs> they made it worse. <laughs> it's sickening. <laughs> Well, like about another five minutes, maybe. If you want. I'm doing half hour on these, because I don't know. I'm going to destroy this one. Because I have two of them, and I don't need them. <clears throat> Does that give you more scrap? I don't know. Tech scrap bonus multiplier. Yeah. Because now you've got 1399 That was 500 more. Nice. Damn it. Good damn it. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go back to the chainsaw. The chainsaw guy? Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Take care. Yeah, I think um after I had played Star Wars Battlefront 2, I'm like, I think I'm just done with Star Wars. Yeah. I think I'm good. My my initial viewing on movies is like the worst take that i can always have yeah right because like i i allow things that bother me to just be like ah it's whatever because this was pretty cool and then i really think about it later and i'm like oh that was shit it was absolutely shit yeah it's just i just want to pick up the stuff do i go through here no oh you gotta go up those stairs again oh yeah that's right because there was a box but yeah, so my first initial viewing, and then like when people are like, "Oh, was that good?" I'm, I always normally tend to lean towards, "Yeah, it was okay," or um, "That was pretty good." How about the Rings of Power? Do you still feel that way about that? Yeah, I actually still like the okay. Rings of Power. All right. Um, I haven't finished it though, so you know, uh, Ryan Johnson. We watched the Ryan Johnson movie not that long ago. Um, the movie Ryan Johnson? No. Being Ryan Johnson? No, the the Glass Onion. Oh, okay. On uh, Netflix. New Orleans! And it was, it was pretty entertaining. It was good. Like, there's this long, like, exposition flashback in the middle of the movie, okay. which I kind of don't like after a point of time. But, like, the whole thing, like, the whole movie kind of hinges upon this flashback, which is kind of dumb. But, like, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like the movie has to have it in order for the plot to function. Yeah. But it's like, it's just weird because there's an extended flashback that's like purely like exposition. So that just sent me back here. Yeah. Hmm. Try try breaking off some like body gear or something like that from one of these dudes because like you gotta go to that the dark area, right? Yeah. But I also feel like I can fight this another, big guy. Is there? A, there's no other way to go up there. That's what I'm looking for now. I don't. Yeah, I don't think there was. Maybe I'm just missing something. Yeah, this takes you over here, and then there was more of those fly dudes. But is, does this lead? To, there's a staircase there. Okay, rocket no, I haven't been here. Yeah, rocket assembly. Yeah, you left here earlier because you were low on health and didn't have any yeah. healing items. And there's also a staircase back where you just came from. Open this up at least. Does this lead back to where I was? The power plant. I don't think you've been here before. No, nope, I don't think so either. Um. 
Yeah, what's that? Oh, a little elevator. Oh, sorry, exo lift. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, this is mail. Mail. After the recent events and the continuing threat to Creo security, we are asking all employees to remain vigilant. Please, if you see or hear anything suspicious, report it immediately to your supervisor. Oh, that's like a train. Yeah, train or something. Oh, did you see the, uh, they did the remake of Dead Space also? Did you see that? I did see that. Did you play it? Have you got no. it? No. I'm waiting to get that one, I think. Yeah, most of the time I don't buy remakes unless I'm really passionate about the game. Yeah, I'd probably wait on that one myself. I just played through the Dead Space games like a couple months ago, actually. I started playing number three and then I never finished it, but like, yeah, it's not been that long since I played it. Yeah, so it's not really like. See, well, it's it the same thing. Like, thing. I want to get, I want to get the Last of Us Part One, you know, the remake of the first game. Um, but I'm like, I'm not in any hurry because I know that game front to back. Like, and if it's a pretty one to one remake, I don't feel like I need to play it. Same with like Demon Souls. Like, I want to get it, but just not right now. Yeah. Like all I know is for Demon Souls is pretty and like it runs a bit better. Yeah, but it's basically the exact same game from what I understand. Yes. So it's like it's not something that needs to be experienced right away. We know what we're all going to do. We're going to go get that Crescent Falchion. Yep. Farm the Roly Poly guys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good game. It is a good game. I like that game a lot. Are those boobles on the wall there? Boobles? No, not bear boobles, but... Yeah, yeah those are bear boobles. Man, bear man boobles? Yeah, bear man boobles. Yeah. Earth, Wessent, Need, Resolve. That is not... Hmm. Yeah. That is not English. <laughs> Wessent? <laughs> Wessent. <laughs> okay, so that was just a little extra. Yeah, you gotta go to the rocket factory. Dude, dude... Dude, fuck off. You're gonna die, though. <laughs> There's three of them. Jesus Christ. The problem with this game so far that I see is that the stamina, you use too much of it, and it doesn't come back fast enough. Yeah. Alright. Oh, Billy, find a, find a good spot here, and then we'll call it, a, call it an episode here. The good spot will be their graves. Either that or you're going to die again. I don't know. That's cool. You get, like, multipliers for your tech scrap, how much you get. Uh -huh. I'm assuming this game autosaves. I have no idea. Usually a game like this autosaves. There you go. Okay. There we go. You're, d you're out of stuff anyway, so you might as well go back to the bonfire. Yeah. Next, back next time on Chin Shark Traps, we go to the the rocket factory. And then immediately leave it because it was really small. Yeah. This is... Uh.